This is the start of a forest. It is also the start of the war against poverty. It is also the start of recovery from the dependency on foreign oil. It doesn't take very long to, if you plant and harvest and plant and harvest, that you can build an entire forest off of this one root. Clean up the environment from pollution of the soils, clean the subsurface water, and clean our air and make our fuel. We all know that corn is not the answer. Cellulose is, and we try to create the very best cellulose crop uh, for that. The interesting thing about the megaflora tree is that we grow it from a root. The tree is made by mixing the DNA of two different tree species. Think of this as a root graft. It's a very safe hybrid species, and it's something that is not genetically modified in any way. So we're just mixing those two different forms of DNA to create an, a special tree that has special properties. That root, once treated, goes into dirt. We let that go into a greenhouse for a period of time. That grows into a small seedling over a period of just a few weeks, and then we're ready to plant that in the ground. Once we plant it in the ground, three years, and you've got a full-size tree ready to be harvested. It'll have a very straight and long trunk base that can be harvested very easily. It'll be about 8 inches to 10 inches in diameter. So you're getting a very large tree in a three-year time period that you would never be able to accomplish with traditional trees. We'll take the tree once it's fully mature and cut it down, turn that into wood chips. We can then take the wood chips and process them through a what's called a gasification process which turns the wood chips into their elemental forms, carbon and hydrogen. That then is converted into what's called a syngas, which is like a natural gas. And we take a second step in that process and convert that syngas into a liquid methanol. So the trees go from wood in the, in the forest all the way through a two-stage process to create that liquid biofuel.